morning, friends. It's me, Miss Munoz. Welcome back to reading. Yes, friends, that's right. Welcome back to reading. We are in day two of this unit, and we are here this morning to what? Exercise our brains. Okay, friends, let's jump right back in. Here we go, friends. Okay, what is our essential question for this week? Hmm, how can we work together to make our lives better? And what type of stories are we reading this week? We're reading fantasy. That's right, friends, fantasy. And today's lesson, we're going to focus on our word work. That means we're going to focus on a sound that helps us work our mouth to make some new sounds. And those sounds, friends, we're gonna look for them in our story called Rooster and Goose. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get started. Okay, friends, our essential question, how can we work together to make our lives better? Well, today we are gonna be introduced to two characters in our story, and we're gonna see, hmm, how do those two friends work together to make their lives better? We're going to see. But before we see that, friends, and listen to that, we're going to be practicing our word work. And those that story that we're going to read today, again, is a fantasy story. And remember, fantasy stories are imaginative stories. They could never happen in real life. Sometimes it includes magic. And those fantasy stories include magical characters like talking animals, witches, or even superheroes. And those stories use personification. And remember, friends, personification is when we give animals or objects human qualities like talking. And the setting, it's unrealistic or maybe even a magical place. And the author's purpose, that's the person who wrote the story. What's their job? Their job is to entertain us. And friends, remember one of those examples, the Polar Express? Yeah, that's a story from our past that was a fantasy story. Okay, friends, are you ready to work? Let's get that word work going. So, friends, the focus sound this week is our spoon card. And this sound is the long ooh sound. Oh, friends, did you hear that? That sound is made with our voice. So, we're going to shape our mouth in a circle like the letter O. And then we're going to push our sound through the top of our mouth out, just like this spoon. And that sound is in the middle, friends. That's our middle sound. So let's try it. Sp. Ooh. Mm. Spoon. Now, if you're not sure, am I making this sound correctly? Watch. You can even feel your breath when you're making it. Ooh. Oh, I felt that on my hand. Now, I can also feel it on my throat. Let me put my hand right here. Ready? Ooh. Oh, I felt, I felt my throat moving. Yes, friends. This sound we can feel. Ooh. And we can feel here. Ooh. All right, you ready to practice? You ready to do some word work? I am. Here we go. First word. Boom. B. Ooh. Mm. Boom. Yes, friends. That ooh sound is in the middle. And in this word, the spelling is O. O. B. Ooh. Mm. Boom. Now, let's look at the next word. Food. 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 Again, the same spelling. F-O-O-D. 
So when those two O's are stuck together, they can make the OO sound. Now, look at the next word. Rule. R-U-L-E. Hmm. Different spelling, friends, but the same sound. So the, the, when you see the U and then the space and then the E for that consonant letter to come in here, friends, that also, this U-E also can make that OO sound. Next one, soup. Oh, look what happens, friends, when the O and the U are stuck together. When, they're, when you see the O-U, that also makes the OO sound. Now, let's look at chew. Hmm. Well, we remember the ch from the cheese card, but now we see this E-U. When those two letters are stuck together, they can also make the OO sound again. Chew. Then, friends, let's look at this last word. Glue. Oh, there's another spelling pattern. Sometimes when we see the U-E stuck together, that also makes the OO sound, like in glue. Oh, friends, great work. Now, let's see if we can listen for some of those sounds. So, friends, eyes are watching. Ears are listening. Bodies are calm and still. Are you ready? Here we go. Life at the farm was like a wild zoo. Rooster and Goose felt that they should come up with a plan. Things needed to run smoother. First, Rooster and Goose brought the animals through the big barn door. Rooster said, We know you're we know you are busy, but we need to make the farm better. We have an answer to fix it up. Then Goose said, Goose stated, let's not bug each other. Let's join together. We can make it better. So, Rooster and Horse went to check the crops. They set the roots in and scooped the soil on top. This was enough to make the crops grow. The chicks picked up the hay. Then Goose and Pig made the hay neat. The eyes of the animals were wide with joy. The farm looked so nice. That night, the animals sat under the bright moon. They were glad that they came together and did the job. The farmer felt like it like such the farmer felt like such a nicer place rooster and goose both said it's cool to be a team okay friends now good readers do what this week we reread yes friends we reread so let's reread for those words and that sound the ooh sound here we go. Life at the farm was like a wild zoo. Oh, oh, I heard it. Did you hear it? Oh, friends, there it is. Z-O-O. -O. Those two O's are stuck together. They make that sound. Ooh. Rooster and Goose felt that they should come up with a plan. Oh. Oh, there's the two O's stuck together again. Rooster and goose. Things needed to run up. Things needed to run smoother. Oh, I see the O's stuck together again. Smoother. Yes, friends. Great job at eyes watching, ears listening for our sound and making your mouse work. Yes, friends, very, very proud of you. Okay, our essential question, friends, how can we work together to make our lives better? Hmm, thinking rocks are up. Rooster and Goose, those two, 
they did an amazing job, friends, of working together to make their life on the farm better. And all the animals were so happy. So your assignment, friends, find words with the ooh sound. Let's read our first sentence. Duke wore a blue suit and brown boots. Hmm. Do you see some of those spelling patterns? Okay. Let's think of the next sentence. A moose from the zoo was on the loose. Hmm. Did you hear some of those words with those sounds? With the word with the sound ooh. Okay, friends. I am so proud of you and cannot wait to see you very, very soon to keep working on our ooh sound and our essential question. Okay, friends, talk to you soon. See you soon. Have a great day. Bye, my little pineapples.